we're going to do is press this to record first because I'm terrible at doing, not doing that. We're going to start easy. <laughs> we're going to start with a lie down. So you just let your hands come onto your knees and we roll down to our spine and prepare to come into a nice comfortable position. Just let the shoulders relax away from the ears and bring your chin in towards your chest. A little core connection. And from here, you're going to start with the arms. They're going to come above your shoulders. You're going to draw the shoulders down to the back of the ribs. You're going to gently open your right arm and then you bring it back into the centre. Then your left arm. So we're just going to start to get the shoulders working. As you lower your arm down, you're gently drawing your shoulder blade towards your spine. Then we allow movement into our neck. Your eye gaze just simply follows your thumb. Breathing in as you ease the arm down and breathing out with the lift. Keeping the chin nodded in, getting that little connection into your core. And we'll do that once more each way. Then we're going to start to circle the arms. So from the top here, both arms, just take a little reach back overhead. We bend the elbows and we slide the elbows towards our ribs. Again, we're starting to work into the shoulders. The shoulders, the muscles around the shoulders, tend to become a little bit weak and a little bit lazy sometimes, depending on our posture. So try to get these really active first of all. You want to feel the shoulder blades pull into the back of your ribs. Now try and turn your palms up to the ceiling, so that helps to stretch out the chest. And sometimes the chest that's a little tight that pulls the shoulders slightly out of position and it stops the deeper muscles working as they should. So the more we create that little stretch around the chest and the shoulders, the better the shoulders can sit in position and work for more stability. And once more. On your next one, you're gonna leave your arms in this surrender position. Let your elbows just melt to the floor, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, draw the ribs down a little, roll your knees from side to side. Keeping the palms up to the ceiling, keeping the head nice and still, and just let your knee roll across to your opposite heel. You're going to breathe in as they lift, and breathe out to let them drop. Option to bring your knees above your hips. Keep the knees wide, let the knees roll from side to side, and you still feel like you're taking your knee towards your opposite heel. So the legs almost stagger at the bottom. If you need less, just bring your feet simply back to the floor and just keep letting the knees roll across the opposite heel. Two more each way. So a little bit more movement into the hips because we've got some good hip stretches in this one today. We're gonna stay in the middle. Extend your left leg, lift up your right knee and you're just going to take it across and away. So your knee goes across your body and then away from your body. Now, again, the arms are still in this surrender position. If you feel you've had enough of the arms there, you can bring them a little bit lower. Or you can keep drawing the shoulder blades down to the back of the ribs. Keep drawing the ribs gently down towards the hips to get a much deeper stretch into those shoulders. And once more, you're going to hold across. Bring your left hand onto your knee. <clears throat> gently encourage the knee to the floor, press your right shoulder back down into the ground and then you're going to turn your head and look down your right shoulder, breathe in, as you breathe out let that knee go a little bit heavier towards the ground, feel a nice stretch down the right hand side, through your lower back and across around the hip, bring the knee back into the centre. We're going to go into our can can again. If you need less of the arms, bring them here. For can can, you're just going to push away, pull in, and reach up to the ceiling. So we're just starting to loosen up and warm up the hamstrings, and we want to get across the back of the knee. That's why the hamstrings tend to get the tightest. So let's find a little bit more length. Let's start to push away into the heel. So as you drive your heel away, you can get a little bit more stretch into your calf. And then you feel it coming again, right up and across the back of your knee. Once more. 
and then bend your knee and place your foot on the ground. Slide your right leg away and then lift your left knee and let's go to that little roll. So again, just warming, just mobilising the hips. Keeping the shoulders the rib cage nice and grounded. Let the knee come right up and over. So you can allow it to go a little closer to the ground. Think about the rib cage staying still, so getting lots of movement around the hip and your lower back. The knee stays over this time. It sinks. Your left right hand, sorry, comes onto your knee. Gently encourage it down, not forcing the knee down. But you do want to press your left shoulder, your opposite shoulder back into the floor. If it feels fine, turn your head and look over your left shoulder. Breathe in, take the breath into your lower back. Use the out breath and let the knee sink. One more breath into the lower back. As you breathe out, try and relax the lower back more. You feel that creates a little bit more movement. And then you bring your knee back into the centre. Knee above hip, back into your can can. In, extend, bend, and push. At this point, we're just pushing to our toes. We're keeping the toes pointed and just trying to get into the back of the knee joint. Now, the most important thing, I'm sure you know by now, is getting the legs straight. So if you can't get the leg above the hip straight here, that's fine, just take it to a diagonal. Work on squeezing your thigh so you can get the length into your leg. Then trying to stay with that length. Flex your foot this time, push your way through your heel. And a couple more. And on your next one, your knee stays above your hip. Your opposite knee now lifts. You're going to pull your knees in and then extend your legs. Pull the knees in and then extend your legs. We're starting to get a little bit higher now, up into our lower back. So bottom lifts, squeeze up through your thighs. Now again, try and get the legs as straight as you comfortably can. Again, you might just lift to here, that's fine. Pulling the knees here, squeeze up your thighs. Starting to keep your core muscles working as well. Winner, winner. <laughs> Two more. And then your last one. Bring the feet down. Chin towards chest, hands come towards the ankles, and we're going to come into a little roll up. So you're going to roll forward, if you can, lifting the arms, and then rolling back down. Now if you find it difficult to come from the floor and all the way up, work your way up, start here, and roll down, just where you comfortably can, and then roll forwards. So again, that's the easier option, working your way down, and then pushing back up. Again, if you've got that flexibility to your spine, you might want to come all the way back, a little harder, keeping the arms straight. Chin tucks in and then push up towards the ceiling. Again, you can keep the arms here. And you should give me two more little rolls. Lots of out breath on that push. And then on this one, you get to stay at the bottom. You've done your warm up, you're thoroughly warmed. So we're going to have the knees a little bit closer. Your chin tucks in, pixie rolls. So your knees hug in, and you're gonna roll forward and let your head come forward. So you sometimes find it's a little easier to roll from here. And again, if you find it difficult for any reason, just stay at the top and just stay a bit partial roll here. We're all gonna stay forward on our next one. And you're gonna sweep the arm. So once you've come forward here, you're going to take your left arm and just start to circle around your shoulder. Inhale as you lift the arm. Exhale to release. Breath into lift. Now this left arm, we're going to go into our side bend. So you're going to reach over by the ear and then back to the floor. And use the out breath. Lengthen a little bit further. And here we go with two more. 
Do you feel that starting to nicely ease into your spine? In the centre, you're going to change legs. So just swap the feet so your right leg's in front, and then you're going to surf your right arm, brushing past the ear. Now try and lengthen your right arm, make the circles just a tiny bit bigger. So you're pushing away through your fingers, and this time, as the arm comes down, into your side bend. So you're going to just reach over and back. So weight even in the hips, that's helping to keep the pelvis nice and still. So we're really starting to get into that lower back, which is going to help us with our next movement. You're going to take one more side bend and then rest in the middle. Bring your legs out in front. A little squeeze into your thighs, so you're trying to straighten the legs and press the knees down to the floor. You're going to breathe in, come forwards, and then roll back. As you roll back, draw your belly towards your spine. Now gently squeeze the thighs. That's going to help to bring more stretch into your hamstrings. Now on your next one, you're going to try and take a hold of your toes, maybe your ankles if you need to. You're going to pull the toes in, gently encourage your chest forward. Breathe in, lift the ribs and swim. So you're going to alternate the arms now. Now try to keep your toes gently drawn back towards your shins. And you're going to feel then you've got a little bit more stretch into your calves as well as your hamstrings. And let's go back to both arms. So you're going to sweep both arms back and reach forwards. As you rise, think about rolling back up through your spine, drawing the belly into the back. This time, grab a hold of your feet if you can. Maybe you can reach a little further forward this time. Push the chest forward and lift it. Roll the shoulders back. Breathe in through your nose, bring your chest a little higher. And then swim, alternate again. Turn the head and gently turn your chest to the side. We're gonna take a hold of our right foot this time. So you're gonna take the right foot, bring it back. Take the underneath of the ankle and just ease the foot across. So we start to get into the hip. You can get into your hamstrings by pushing your leg out straight. And two more. And this time placing your foot down. Come right up onto your sit bones. Left arm around your right knee and then turn. Glance over your shoulder. Breathe in, lift your chest. As you breathe out, look over your shoulder. Now what we're going to do from here is just a little rock. So you're going to ease back a little, not, so you're not on the bony part of your bottom, you're more on the fleshy part. And you're just going to allow yourself to rock from side to side. Now this time, as you're rocking across, you're going to rock onto your left hand side. Your right hand comes inside your foot, and you're going to push up and lengthen through the arms. Now try and press your bottom back down to the floor and then lift your chest up a little higher. Now you're going to bend this long leg. Oh, there you go. Now what you're going to try and do is push your right buttock back down into the floor. Then you're going to turn your chest towards your bent knee. When you're all playing Twister at Christmas because there's nothing else to do, this would be great. Trust me. So you've turned there, your chest towards your thigh, and you're going to extend both arms. You're going to reach towards your bent knee. And then come back into the centre. Arms stay just in line with your shoulders. And you should feel the stretch really deep into the hip. Now you can let that right arm lift a little higher. Quite a nice stretch in a quite different area. And now we're going to come back into the arms. So you can let your arms windmill over and then back to the other side. Try to keep your right foot pressed down towards the floor, anchoring down into your hip bones. And now you're going to stay here. Let the arm reach a little further. Breathe into the side of your ribs and then breathe out, go a little bit further. Now we release, we come back into the centre. Your right hand takes the right foot. You're going to pull 
a knee back for three. Really pull it back. And then this time, hold it behind and you pull your heel in towards your bottom. Now, to make your stretch deeper, you can bring your left leg a little further forward. And you're going to turn into your hip. So your right hip turns in towards the ground. You slide your knee back and then you lift your ribs. Now, you can stay here or you've got the option to go a little further. You can let this foot go and take your leg out straight. Then both hands come in front of your thigh and you turn your hips to the ground for a swan pose. And when you feel your hips turn to the floor, the stretch is right into your left hip. You can slide your leg back. Now, so you can bring your hands a little further forward, maybe bending your elbows and lowering down. Now again, finding your breath and breathing out to release. Now have a little movement in your hips, just allow them to rock from side to side. And as you allow your hips to gently move, you should feel how that stretch just comes a little deeper. Again, don't be afraid to move around in the hips. Just gently rocking from side to side. And now you can simply hold, pressing your right hip down towards the ground. You're going to breathe in, lift your chest. Now, as you breathe out, you're going to look over your left shoulder. And you feel as you keep turning your right hip towards the floor, you get a much deeper stretch into your left hip. It's one of those that's kind of nice, but kind of not. <laughs> Walk your hands in when you're ready. Lift the chest up and try and press your hip back to the heel again. So you keep trying to turn the hips to the floor. Press down to the ground. Now, your right hand is going to take a hold of your left foot. Then you're going to, if you need less, you can just roll back onto your hips. I've got the wrong foot. It's this one. <laughs> you're going to hold your back foot and you're going to pull the heel in. If you prefer, you can take a hold of the top of the foot or the inside of the foot. You turn into your chest, push into your left hand, and see so if you can lift the hips off the floor. And then let the hips sink down. Turn the chest to the side, and as you breathe in, lift your rib cage up. Squeeze your right buttock. Press the hip forward. And then when you're ready, release. Come on to your bottom. From here, Hands under your thighs, knees bent. And all we're gonna do is just pedal the feet here. So if you've got a bad back, you might want the hands here for a little bit of support. Option to set the arms a little wider. Palms gently turn up to ceiling. So it keeps that chest nice and open. Ready to do it all again? <laughs> now we're gonna settle back into center. So both feet come down chest lifts. If you want to, you can bend your knees a little and we're going to start to just roll forward. Just a couple of rolls here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Once more. We're going to hold the feet. We're going to lift the chest up. Drawing your toes back towards your nose and breathing. When you're ready, we swim. Alternate the arms. So keep gently pushing your fingertips forward. Now both arms come forward. Inhale, lift the arms again and circle. I've got done that the wrong way. You're pulling back and circling forward. Breathe as you lift up tall and out to flex forward. Again, you're going to take a hold of your toes one last time, draw them back. If you can't hold your toes to shins, try and pull your toes physically back towards your shins. Try and push your rib cage forward. Let's go for that little swim one last time for four, three, turn into the chest. And now, Take your left foot. You're going to draw your left foot back. Take it underneath the ankle. 
and just start to move the foot. So let the foot come a little further away from the outside of your thigh. So you're really pushing that foot across. Take into the hamstring if you want a little bit more stretch. That's going to bring it down the outer part of your hamstrings. And two more. And then hold your foot down. Try and get a little bit of distance between your foot and your thigh. Hug your right arm into your knee. Left hand on the floor. Turn your chest to the side. Breathe in, grow tall. And as you breathe in, feel like you're bringing space between each vertebrae and take a little glance over your shoulder. Now from here, just allow yourself to rock from side to side. Just go down to the meaty part of your bottom. And then in the centre, you're going to hold here. You're going to bend your front leg so your leg pulls back towards your hip. You're going to try and push your left buttock back to the floor. This knee stays pointing upwards, arms come to shoulder height, and you're going to push to your left and back. Just sliding your shoulders across. You can start to allow the arm to come higher. And as you're sliding across to your left, you should feel a deeper stretch into your right hip. And that's one of those areas that are quite difficult to get into. And one small. Arms slide over the head. Now again, try and keep the hips nice and grounded. Pressing your tailbone down towards the ground. And two more side bends. And then you rest here. Weight into your right hand. Take your left foot. Pull the foot back. Pull it back for three. Three. Breathe out. Two. One. And hold. So you're pulling your heel into your bottom. You're pushing your hip forward. You bring your hand forward, so it's just the outside of your right thigh, and push your chest forward. Deepen the stretch by bringing your right leg further forward. Or from here, you can take it into swan pose, which means you just let go of your left foot, turn onto the tops of your toes, and then roll your left hip towards your heel. If you find that difficult, just stay here with this stretch. You're going to turn into the chest. You're going to squeeze your left buttock like you're pressing your left hip towards this heel. You can allow yourself to gently ease forward. Now, once you find that position where you're deep into your stretch but it's not giving you pain, we're going to hold it and breathe into it. Then you're going to rock your hips just from side to side. So you get the feeling of rolling your left hip towards your heel. And a couple more. And then hold here. Bring the hands back into the shoulders and take a lift of your ribs again. Pull the shoulders back. Squeeze your left foot again so you can get that hip right into the heel. And see so if you can lift your rib cage up. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to come back into a little bit of core work. So we're going to roll onto our bottoms. Both knees come bent. Hold the back of your thighs. Go back into your leg extensions. Arms can come wide if you want to. The chin's tucked in. And we're going to give it four more on each leg. And then from here, your feet come down. You're going to come forward and then you're going to open as you roll back. Now, as you roll back, you want to tuck under your tailbone. You're going to press your belly button towards your spine. So you start to really work into your core. We're going to have two more here. A little harder. You're going to bring your hands to prayer position. So from here, you're going to come forward, reach, and then pull your thumbs and roll back. Breathe in, press belly to back, and then breathe out, reach up tall. Two more. Now you're going to stay back here if you can. Leg extensions, right leg and land. Left leg, press the palms of your hands together. Now from here we're going to turn. So we're going to work with just our right leg. As your right leg lifts, you're going to hold, turn, come to the centre and lower. Right leg, turn, centre and lower. Keep pressing your belly 
towards your back. One more time. And then rise. Reach up and then pull back. Breathe out the lift. Press belly to back so it stays in your core. And then on your next one, you're going to hold here. Leg extensions. One, two. Again, just a light extension of the leg. Now we're adding that rotation. Next time, your left leg lifts. Keep the hands in prayer position. Left elbow to floor and to centre. To floor and to centre. And again. Hold. Come forward to lift the arms. Circle the arms. Hugging your knees, tucking your chin. Now from here, we're going to go into a beetle. So when you're ready, your hands come underneath your legs. You take the hands to the outside of the ankles. Draw the belly to the spine. Let your chin tuck in and let the head hang forwards. So you're breathing in. Breathing out, just allowing your back to release. Now we're going to do a little bit of work for the back and the bottom next. So you're going to walk your hands in and then come down onto the floor. As you roll down onto the ground, you want your feet to be hip distance apart and your head resting on your hands. So we're going to start with the easy option first. Draw the belly to the back. You're going to gently draw your tailbone to your heels. Neck and shoulders relaxed. Now when you're ready, you're going to pick up your right leg. Right hip, still on the floor. And now imagine somebody's pulling your toe away and then lower back down. Now your left leg, lift. Imagine someone's pulling your toe away and then lower back down. Now this time your right leg lifts again. Pull your toe away and then flex your foot so you're digging into your heel. You point your toe again and lower the heel down. Now left leg. Lift and point, make sure the left hip stays on the ground, dig away into the heel, and then you point, and you lower. Now look, squeeze through the front of your thigh this time, so it's a strong straight leg. Dig away into the heel, point your toe, and then lower. Now again, as you're lifting and pushing your toes away, you should almost feel the hip pulling away from the rib. And then as you push the heel away, you feel that the glutes have to do more work to keep those hips still. So you really need to think about pushing the toe away, then really digging into the heel, point the toes, and lower. Now when you're ready, you can work with both legs, or stay with single legs. So both legs lift, pull your toes away, flex your feet, dig into the heels, point, and lower. We go again, we lift, pull the toes away, push into the heels, pull your point your toes, and lower. Here we four more. Now think about your core, keep drawing the belly up towards the back. Now try not to push your belly back in towards the ground. You've got that constant feeling of pulling your tailbone to your heels. And you're really aware that you're not arching into the lower back. One more. So you feel your glutes working. Keep the tailbone drawn down. Push the heels. Point and release. Just settle. Let the heels roll apart, giving your glutes a little rest. You can shake your legs. So from here you'll feel the lower back did a little bit of work there. So we're going to focus on lengthening the lower back, drawing your tailbone right down towards your heels and almost feel like you're sucking your belly right up off the ground. Now we're going to work on the top of that. You're going to keep your fingertips together so your fingertips are touching. Now you're going to lengthen your neck, pull the crown of your head forward and then you're going to lift the head and keep the elbows on the ground and then lower back down. Now your tailbone to your heels. Lengthen and pull the crown of your head forward. 
So I'll let the elbows lift at this point. Keep the weight now as you rise. Now I want you to imagine that your elbows are trying to pull your fingertips away from each other. So you feel that as you're pulling your fingertips away, your shoulder blades pull together as you lift. Now you keep your hands, your fingers resting on your forehead. And then lower down. Now keep your fingertips together, but feel like your elbows are trying to pull your fingertips apart. Breathe as you lower, keep the ideas down to the ground. Breathe out, pull the elbows away. And one small. Now try and again, keep the lower back relaxed. Keep your belly drawn towards your spine. And then lower all the way down. Bring your hands in by your ribs. Squeeze the elbows in. From here, push up onto all fours. You're going to bring your knees in under your hips. In a nice strong box position, we're going to come to a down dog. So we lift the hips and straighten the legs. Then from here, you're going to come down onto the knees and you're going to pull back towards your heels. To all fours, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Bring the knees down tops of your toes and pull your hips back. Again, tuck, pull the hips back and up, press heels towards the ground, bend your knees, tops of your toes and pull your hips back. So it's getting lots of movement here through the spine. Still think about using our control so your movement is smooth. Hips pull back. And once more. You're going to stay in your down dog. Encourage the heels towards the ground. Now you need to strengthen your shoulders. Your right hand to your left ankle. And then you bring both hands back into your down dog position. Then your right hand to your left ankle. And then back into the centre. We're going to do a couple more each side, so you need to strengthen your shoulders. We get a little bit of rotation through the upper back. You can turn your head and look underneath your arm. And once more each side. Turn to the chest. And your last one here. You get to walk your feet out next. So stay in the centre, pedal your feet, pressing one heel back on the other. Keeping the bottom lifted up towards the ceiling, pushing your knees forward in line with your toes. And then bend your knees and step forward. Heels of the hips, lengthen the back of the neck and lower. When you're ready, just a slow restep of your spine. A little bit of movement for our shoulders. My head's long, that's perfect. So from here, your palms down to the floor. You can reach the hands to the head and then pull the shoulders down. Hands touch the top of the head and then pull the shoulders down. A couple more there, sorry. Put my head back on clearly. And then pull down. And again, touch, shoulders pull down. Now two more. And just feel the shoulders working. And then you're going to hold your hands here. You're going to hold the hands together with your palms facing up. You're going to try and push the heels of your hands together. Now you can squeeze the elbows back so it opens your chest. Inhale and release your elbows. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in, press the hands together and inhale to release. Exhale, squeeze shoulders, pushing elbows and then breathe in to release. Two more. Just open up the chest. And one small. And again, it's quite a strong stretch at the front of the shoulders. Don't force it too much, just feel the stretch. And release. Let your hands come down. Go back into your side bend. Just easing gently from side to side. Keeping the hips nice and centered. 
and just letting that stretch roll through your waist. So hips are already stretched, cause definitely had a good workout, and now you deserve a cup of tea. Bring the hands down, and ladies, give yourselves a clap. Very well worked. <laughs>